Okay, I have some link systems things to install. One of them is this gas tank, and then I have some saddle bags and a trunk bag and some different things to install on here. So it all starts on a new sled with putting these attachments on. And the new sleds, um, the holes are pre-drilled in the tunnel, but there's not holes in the plastic decal that's on there. So one easy way to do this, there's a little mark on there, a little uh, X that marks the spot. You can just take a screwdriver and poke it down through. But then if you want to clean the hole up nice, you can just put your two pieces together like this, just temporarily. Hold it, give it a tap, and it basically cuts the hole out perfect. So what you have going on here is this is a 16 millimeter capture nut and then you have a T27 Torx bit and they aim to the outside so basically the piece goes on from the bottom and you have to fish up both of the uh, nuts outside and then the torque spec is seven and a half uh, Newton meters so I'll just start it and then you'll have to hold it on your backside with your 16 millimeter but there's plenty of room to uh, hold it Skidoo puts plenty of yellow Loctite on there, um, so fairly unlikely that these are going to come off easily. Okay, so the spec of uh, seven and a half plus or minus one, um, we'll just torque it to uh, eight and a half and be done with it. So the high end is spec, but I don't want it to come loose. Okay, all four posts are mounted. This is the Renegade, so it gives me the option to add four. Here's the gas tank. Before you put any of the accessories on, undo the safety strap and open the accessory. And then it's got a tang on the other side. It goes under, then this one goes down in. It locks, the safety goes on it, and that's it, it's on there. So I also have a bag for the back that locks exactly the same. And then I have these saddle bags which their designs have go over the hole. So to mount these saddlebags, um, you need to mount this stud on the side of the sled, because if you look at the saddlebag, it hooks on it. So basically it'll be down on the side so that it has something to hook on before you latch it in to the top. So Skidoo gives you a little template that basically you're going to put the template in the link system you've already mounted. Slide it up so it fits right, get it square, center punch the hole, drill it so that you can mount your screw and your stud sticking out of the chassis. Um, so that's what I'll do next. That'll take a minute. I'll mount those on both sides. Okay, now everything's all mounted. So these basically take a uh, drill a quarter inch hole, use a little template they give you, center punch it, drill a quarter inch hole, then on the back side it's the T27 uh, Torx, and on the front it's a 19 millimeter. So you want to hold this side so it doesn't scratch your tunnel, and torque the uh, T27 to uh, seven and a half to eight and a half newton meters. And there's one of these on each side. So then basically the um, saddlebags, this side over here will always have this catch on it. These come in the, uh, in the kit with the saddlebags because all the rest of the accessories lock in so there's nothing to lock this down. So essentially it just slides down on the little tab that we mounted and then this little link lock goes in. And then it locks and that saddlebag's on. And if we wanted to, we could do the same with this saddlebag. It locks on, 
and then we can use the same little link system and boom, you can ride it like that. Or take this link system off and if we were going to put the gas can here, it goes under that side like that. Then it pushes down into the hole, then you lock it, and then you put the safety rubber cord across it. Now both sides are on. And now if we wanted to, on the back, we can take this link system, the medium bag they call it, lock this one under that side, bring it down the hole, latch it, put the rubber band on it. Now you've pretty much got enough capacity for as big of a trip as you'd want to make. And some of it can be moved around. If they don't want the gas can in the back, they don't want the saddlebags in the back. But this could move to the front if you don't need to carry your gas. Um, so that's one of the options of this whole system. So I can unlock this. I can unlock this. I can take the gas can off. I can take this. So I can take this from the back, move it to the front, lock it under that side, get the latch in over here, lock it, put on the rubber safety, and now with no gas can, I have plenty of luggage space forward on the snowmobile with nothing on the back. So there's a lot of options to mix and match this stuff if you want. Um, time will tell if it all stays on there, I don't know. It seems fairly secure. Uh, Skidoo ha does have really, really light load limits for this stuff. And I think that's probably true. If you open it up, it's kind of a nice system. It has a zippered inside, has some hard plastic on how it mounts to the side to keep its strength. But, yeah, but some light clothing and things like that, and some shoes, lightweight stuff that's okay. I think you can put a little bit heavier items in here and it's more secure and it's got a good base to rest on. Um, but, you know, use caution because I think if you uh, overload these things, or ride it too hard in the bumps, uh, there might not be anything left of any of it. But like I say, time will tell. So far it seems like it's gonna work.